Good morning, HPC. Welcome to the last ramble of the week, and actually the last ramble for a week. We're going to be taking a break uh, over half term, but uh, I'll be back with more rambles on the 1st of June. Some chapters in Andrew Wilson's book have been interesting, some have been surprising, but this has been a chapter which this week I have really felt I have needed this chapter. The chapter is entitled The Lord Our Righteousness, and I've been forcefully reminded this week that I am not righteous. Uh, even when I'm trying really hard to be on my best behaviour, even when the sun is shining and I'm under zero pressure, I'm not righteous. But add into that a little bit of uh, cabin fever, a, a little bit of tiredness. Um, and, well, this week, everyone in the house got to see and hear my lack of righteousness. To put it mildly, uh, Monday was not my finest hour. And so the news, as the title of the chapter of this book uh, that we, we're looking at together, the news that the Lord is our righteousness was well, just brilliant, heavenly, delightful news for someone in my situation who knows that they definitely haven't been and are not righteous. Let me read uh, the bit of Jeremiah where we find out that that is the name of our God. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely. He shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called, the Lord our Righteousness. Organisations take on the characteristics of their leaders. They just can't help it. And bad leadership brings bad news for those people who are following the leader. I saw a very uh, strange clip of American telly earlier this, earlier this week. In it, the leader, President Trump, said almost sort of casually that he had been taking a drug which was used in the treatment of malaria. And he said, hey, I'm not an expert, but guess what? I haven't caught the virus yet. I've been taking it for the last week and a half. And people fell over themselves to say, please don't do this. Even people on Fox News, normally uh, President Trump's greatest cheerleader, fell over themselves to say, please, please, please do not do this. Don't follow the lead of our president in taking this drug, because all the clinical trials show, far from potentially helping you, this might actually kill you. The American medical establishment uh, threw themselves onto the airways to say we've got enough on our plate without people poisoning themselves by taking a drug which has no obvious benefit for COVID-19. Bad leadership brings bad news to those people who are following behind them. The Lord in his kindness promises to his people a leader and a righteous branch who would be a good leader, but more than that, who would be righteous for his people, not just righteous to his people, righteous for his people. We all know we are not righteous. And we know as well that unrighteous people cannot be friends with God. So we've got a massive problem. What we need is someone who can come and live righteously, live perfectly, and then can offer that righteous life to all the people in his family. And that's what happens in the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the the person who Jeremiah is looking forward to. So that all the sinners, all the stuff ups, all the selfish fathers can be counted righteous, can now be friends with God. Not just because of what they've done, far from it, because of what Jesus has done. Jesus, our righteousness, 
It's absolutely splendid news. Have a really good weekend, HPC.